which of these calculations give an answer of about 20? Not exactly 20, but about 20. Here we are going to work the estimation. So we have 4 plus 7, we have 3 plus 15, 18 plus 11. Which one you think is about 20? I'm going to demonstrate this first question for you, then you can carry on doing the other one. You can have a 100 grid that we will attach to the questions to help you, or you can just use your fingers, or you can use a ruler to help you counting from four to seven, for example. I'm going to model this one for you. So we have four plus seven. Is four plus seven give you an answer that is about 20? You may just know that and say, hmm, four plus seven is a little bit smaller than 18 plus 11, for example. So we start by this one. So to go from four plus seven, if you use a ruler, you put the ruler like this and you just go, this is four, I got four in my pocket. You don't count that four. So you start from four and you go, this is my four and I go five, six, seven. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are adding a seven to our four. So we have four plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So four plus seven equals eleven. Is eleven near to tw twenty? Is it about twenty? No. So we leave that one, we know this one. What is three plus five? This time I'm not going to use the ruler because I can see that three, I can use just my fingers. So we start by the largest number and add three. It's either you go three plus 15 or 15 plus three, it will give you the same number, uh, answer. So we have 15, put 15 in my head, is in my pocket, I need to add just three. So 15, 16, 17, 18. So 15 plus 3 or 3 plus 15 is 18. Is 18 about 20? We have just 2 from 18 to 20. So that is the right answer. What about 18 plus 11? Can we just try? Some of you can say just 18 plus 11, you may know how to use it immediately. If not, we have here 10 and we have here 10 Then we have the ones are 8 here and 1 here. You can either add 10 plus 10, so 10 plus 10, you know all that 10 plus 10 is 20. 20. Then what do we have here left? We have the eight and we have one. So we add these together. Eight plus one is eight, nine. So we have 20 and we have eight plus one equals nine. So 20 plus nine, just either use the ruler and you go from 20 and add nine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and you will end up to 29. Or use your fingers and you go from 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we have 29. Or use your 100 grid and that we, we will attach that to these questions. So you have this one. And you just go, where am I? 20. Here is 20. Yeah. And I add 9. So you go just 21, 22, 23. And you go 1 until 29. That is how you add all your numbers 
then you go back to your question and see if you can answer it. Which of these calculations give an answer of about 20? Is it 29? No, 29 is a larger number than 20. 11 is a smaller number than 20. So 18 is about 20 because there is just two left, 19 to 20. Now then, uh, you can use you can use your imagination to see which one you want to do and you can just carry on doing all of them this is about uh, 20 the next one up to 25 the uh, sixth question follow up up to 50 you can either stop here if you feel confident to do up to 75 or up to 100 that will be great.